Hi, it's Rob here with another video, and this video is going to be uh, a contest response for Lloyd Boone, Lloyd Boone's World of Music 2. So Lloyd's um, after 100 subscribers, and he's passed that about a month ago. He set up a contest. He wanted us to show underrated artists in the VC, just bands, musicians that we feel maybe underappreciated and Lloyd showed nine and he's encouraged us to to show uh, as many as we can so I've got ten so I'm going to do ten artists uh, that I feel are kind of uh, not represented that much in the vinyl community and the big bands as well certainly the sort of bands who quite easily sell out decent venues in the UK and and do sort of main stages um, at Glastonbury etc so I've got 10 bands a lot of them fit into the category of sort of indie sort of dance from the early 2000s uh, that's a real sort of strong uh, area for me for music that I really enjoy and I, I don't really see many people showing that sort of music there, there's the occasional person but most of these artists very rarely see in the VC, so the first band are the Foles. So the Foles are from Oxford, and the debut album came out in uh, 2008. Uh, and this one came out, Total Forever, Total Life Forever, in uh, 2010, and uh, Holy Fire came out in 2013. So the Foles are a band who uh, live have got a great sort of uh, pedigree, uh, really w respected. I know my son's seen them a couple of times live. A lot of these bands I've seen live, but uh, the Foles, unfortunately, I've never seen live. This is my favourite Foles album. They've done seven albums. Uh, this has got the track Inhaler on it and My Number, two of my favourites. So, yeah, the Foles, certainly a group that, considering they're so well known in the UK, um, sell out shows pretty quickly. Uh, but I can't remember seeing anybody uh, in the VC showing a Foles record. Likewise, this group, Everything Everything, have been around since about 2009, met at University in Manchester. Uh, they've got a new album coming out in March. And this is their debut album, Man Alive, which was reissued earlier this year. As soon as I heard this was coming out, I had to pick it up. So, um, everything, everything. They are a little bit Marmite. And if you say Marmite in the UK, that means, you know, they're not for everybody. Uh, sort of sophisticated lyrics, maybe a little bit political. Um, but very interesting and um, I do have most of their albums on vinyl uh, but this is this will probably be in my top 20 albums of all time that's how much I, I rate this so yeah everything everything certainly a band again that very rarely see shown if at all in the vinyl community another band who was sort of um, a sort of dance indie would be Block Party well, this is uh, remixes of their third album, Intimacy. So the debut by Block Party came out in 2005, Silent Alarm. Um, I need to get on that on vinyl, really. Uh, a London-based band. And uh, Kelly, I've got a solo album by him, is the lead singer. They've had um, a little bit of a break, but uh, they've come back and uh, released an album. Uh, a couple of years ago again a really really strong live out live group uh, th this is a group I always sort of tried to get my son into Alex and he kind of resisted because I was championing them but eventually he caved in but yeah Block Party certainly one of my favorite bands from the mid 2000s likewise a band I've seen a couple of times uh, are friendly fires so parlor this is just a beautiful record 
I absolutely love this. It's not easy to, to find on vinyl. Just everything on here. The Hurting is a beautiful song. Um, Show Me Lights. This is sort of, you know, there's a, a real dance feel to quite a lot of these bands. Maybe that's why, you know, there's not many people dancing around in the VC as the, um, maybe with a Zimmer frame. But uh, yeah, Blue Cassette is great. Uh, the opening track, uh, Live Those Days Tonight. Uh, Helpless is just, I love the Friendly Fires. They've recently uh, been touring as well. Hopefully there's going to be um, a new album soon. But yeah, the Friendly Fires from, I think they're from St Albans. So not a hotbed for music, but um, yeah, Friendly Fire is well worth checking out. All these bands, you can easily check them out, you know, Spotify or on YouTube. See what you think. Even if there's one of them that you like, surely it's worth checking them out. Bombay Bicycle Club, one of my favourite names for a band. Uh, they're another band who sort of had a little bit of a hiatus. They're from the London area seen them a couple of times live and they're touring um early next year they've got a new album out now that i've been streaming i've not picked it up yet but i want to get it before the end of the year um everything else has gone wrong came out a couple of years ago very strong um eat sleep wake is one of my favorite tracks on this but everything else has gone wrong is great get it up is it real Bombay Bicycle Club, well worth checking out. This is a, another one of their albums, different kind of fix, which has got the track Shuffle. Check that one out. But yeah, Bombay Bicycle Club, great name, great band. From Manchester, The Slow Show. So The Slow Show are the greatest band that you've never heard of. If you like The National um, Elbow, you'll, you'll find something to love with the slow show. This could be your best sort of Christmas present. Just check out the slow show. Rob Goodwin's a singer. They're not even that well known in Manchester. It's it's really strange how they've not had the recognition. They're quite big in Germany, I think. When I say quite big, you know, they've, they've got a presence there in Netherlands as well, I think. Um, but they've done five albums. They've released an album this year as well, which will be in my top 10 favourites of the year. Um, this album, White Water, has got a track on called um, Bloodline. Check Bloodline out. It's got a beautiful video as well. Um, set on uh, Bright Beach. Bright Piers in the video. It's just a great video and a great song. Beautiful. So like I say, if you like The National, check out um, The Slow Show. I want to have female artists here. So Jane Weaver. So Jane Weaver, this album is just so good. Modern Cosmology, it's called. I went to see Jane about three years ago. She she was just mesmerising. Just so much better than I thought she was going to be live. Um, you had a guitarist and a keyboard player just before COVID. Um, and I've since discovered that her children actually work in SK1 record shop in Stockport. So um, if you go in there on a Saturday... I think her daughter's working in there at the moment. Um, she's married to Andy Vortel, who's the, one of the guys behind uh, Finders Keepers Records. But if you don't know Jane Weaver, a, f a few people in the UK think, um, I know John, the 16th pianist, uh, Dale, Gatefall 33, um, Mike, Final Spiral, Andy Ford. I think th those are the four people I think in the UK show Maybe the most new music, Ross Goodall as well. But um, yeah, if you don't know Jane Weaver, if you're over in America or uh, Australia or wherever you're watching this from, Jane Weaver, uh, check her out, particularly this album. But uh, a big fan of Jane. Uh, three to go, maybe, Andy Bell. So I'll pick this up. This is from 2020. Um, the View from Halfway Down. Uh, I did pick it up in 2020, maybe a year later, but I was, I just really do like this album. Sort of shoegaze, Andy Bell, of course, with a history with Oasis and Hurricane Number no. One uh, and Ride. 
and Beady Eye as well, I think. Um, but yeah, Andy Bell solo, certainly well worth checking out. And then um, a bit of Neo Soul with Leanne Le Havas. So this is, I kind of stumbled upon her. Um, and uh, I know there's a lot of people like sort of soul in the VC, but sort of this new stuff uh, maybe doesn't get shown so much. I think it was the, the album cover that sort of um, sort of got my attention at first. But um, Bittersweet, the opening track, is a um, gorgeous track. And this is her third album. I think maybe she's touring next year uh, from London. Well, we're checking out. And finally, I'm not sure whether I've done 11 here. Uh, one of my firm favourites is Palace. Uh, three albums they've done. I went to see them in the mid 2020s. Uh, I'm trying to think, no, was it about 2016? Since then, I've been a, a big fan of Palace. Again, a band that I've not seen anybody else um, show. Not many people talk about. Uh, very relaxed, easy going sort of indie. Bit in the, uh, if you like, embrace that kind of thing. Maybe Keen, you might enjoy listening to Palace. So those are my artists that I think may be unappreciated um, on the VC. Uh, everyone's got a different taste. It's just uh, I think my taste doesn't really fit with a lot of other people's. Uh, here's a few artists that um, Lloyd showed. Lloyd showed the Hollies. Manchester band had to show them. And also Lloyd showed an album that most people have got. Um, Carol King and Tapestry. And also... I think he showed Carly Simon uh, and this record is part of the Coleman collection um, I was fortunate enough uh, Norman Masloff um, sent me some records a couple of years ago and um, his friend Coleman um, as he was dividing his collection up and I was fortunate enough that he sent me part of his collection for free and um, yeah this is kind of a bit of a treasured possession so yeah um, Carly Simon upside down standing on her head so uh, this has been a contest entry for uh, Lloyd Boone's World of Music go and check out Lloyd's channel uh, I think he's very close to 150 subscribers but he you know like so many people he deserves so many more than that um, I've actually been involved in a collaboration video with Lloyd um, with Richie McCook spoke about um, our favourite Paul Weller records style council etc from his career and uh, yeah Lloyd's a great guy go and check him out so if you've got any comments about what I showed in this video I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching and bye for now